Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Grandia. So, I plan to uh, end the uh, session here, but um, I need to find the person I can... Oh. Well, I actually was not expecting that. Well? It looks like Sue managed to get on board, huh? Huh? Why? Why would Puffy be here? I can't believe it. Could she... Well, uh, let's check the first class cabins first. Ah, oh, rats, it's locked. How much would it cost to stay in this room? Huh? What's this? Third annual Jewel Foundation Shipboard Cooking Contest. First place. Hmm. Is the food on the ship good enough for to win first place? Ah, oh, I wish I had enough money. I've got almost 2,000 gold pieces. Surely that would be uh, enough. Girl Lingering by the Sea by Heloise Okave. Okave? Ah, oh, rats, it's locked. I think this is the lounge. Steamer Lounge. Oh, my feet are so wobbly. An earthquake, a huge earthquake. Everybody run! This guy's so jittery. Too much coffee? Are you alright, sir? Your feet are so jittery. What are you saying? Of course my feet are jittery. I'm dancing the Heidi Ho Jitterbug. Heidi Ho. Heidi 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 Ho. Heidi 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 Ho. Why don't you dance with me? I think I'll pass. New Parm has an organization called the Adventurer Society that all the first rate adventurers join. The president of the organization is, like, really cool, they say. They say he's really capable and smart and always comes from back alive from any peril. It seems all the girls of New Parm have their eyes on the president of the society. Oh yeah, Mom's letter was addressed to him. Wow, Mom knows a great man. I'm known as the Ultimate Gourmet. I go anywhere to see a new restaurant, spare no expense on a famous chef. But lately, I've grown tired of such tastes. Somehow I feel... empty. When I heard that I might find some delicacies I have yet to sample, I decided to head to the New World. Off to the New World for food, huh? Sir, you must really be... You really must be a gourmand. I heard that in the New World they have a sea urchin called the Chestnut Sea Urchin. It is said to taste exactly like a chestnut. Very expensive. I'd like to try it just once. If it tastes just like a chestnut... Why don't you just eat chestnuts? Chestnuts are cheaper, too. And this chestnut sea urchin lives not in the ocean, but in trees. Doesn't that sound so very unusual? Wow, a sea urchin that lives in trees and tastes like a chestnut? Isn't that an ordinary chestnut? I think he has been deceived. My body feels so strange, sort of foggy. What's wrong, you there? Well, um, this cute girl was just sitting right over there. A girl with a big ribbon in her hair. The girl with the big ribbon. Wonder what her name is. Yep. I am a wandering gambler. I have never lost, so I am off to the new world to seek a worthy opponent. Wow, sort of like me. I too am off to the new world in search of adventure. My, my, you are wise for your years. In the daily grind of everyday living, thrills alone are the spice of life. A day without a thrill is like bathing in lukewarm water. It's worthless. Unless, of course, you, you know, are really dirty. Ah, oh, boring, boring, boring. Parm was boring too, but this voyage is boring me to death. On ship, I thought I'd meet a handsome man with a nice smile, but with just the hint of mystery. Ah, oh, where is that handsome man with a nice smile, but with just a hint of mystery? My, my, where are your parents? Not here, I'm alone. I'm on an adventure to the New World. Oh, I'm going on assignment. I'm a newspaper reporter covering the New World for a special edition. If you hear anything interesting, tell me. A newspaper reporter can't let any story get away. A new continent, Alencia. End of the world. Countless ruins and mysteries in an expanse of nature. Yeah, my photographer's soul sheds tears of joy. I'm going to photograph it. And you say the same thing. What's wrong, miss? You look sad. We're on an ocean cruise. 
I, I, I look sad. Wah. So you think I'm ugly? I'm ugly, ugly, ugly. Wah. Hey, hang on. What exactly is wrong? I have too many freckles, so he thought I was ugly. That's why he dumped me. That's it. That's got to be it. I should have gotten more water before I started this uh, recording session. Oh, well. Um, he probably didn't dump you for that reason. If he did, he's terrible. And you're not worth it anyway. Don't go running around like that. You're bothering people. This ship is too small for kids. <laughs> I can't sit still thinking of the adventures I'll have when we get to the new world. So you don't want me to run around, huh? Too bad. <laughs> Screw you, lady. All right, well, Puffy went up on deck. So let's go this way. Boy, is the steamer fun? If you have any trouble, just come right to me. I've had no trouble at all. Nothing but fun. I'm going to the New World on business. I've never been to the New World. It's pretty exciting. What kind of town New Parm is? The New World is a land of adventure awaiting us. New Parm is an entrance. Is its entrance. I'm sure it'll be a fun town. A land of adventure waiting us. Sir, what are you worried about? If you want, I'll give you some advice. Actually, my daughter is bugging me about gifts. What should I get her? Food is inexpensive, but it might spoil in the ship home. What is New Parm famous for? I know, New Parm is famous for adventure. But that's not a gift. Hey, you there. You can't go wandering around here. Go back to your mama. M mama Excuse me, but I'm traveling alone. I'm an adventurer, too. Huh? Don't be ridiculous. A little boy like you ought to be home with your mama. Are you teasing me? I really should be on my own without my mom. I really should be on my own without my mama, but I'm so worried I can't sleep. So you don't get any sleep at all? How can you be a sailor? No, oh, no, of course I sleep. Just fine every night. My mama always travels with me. Oh. My mama is back over there. I think everyone should have a reliable mama. Hey, boy, don't be wandering around so much. You'll bother the others. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I've never been on a steamer before. Everything is so new. I was like that before, so I know what you mean. But you're not the only one on the ship. Yeah, but screw them. I'm glad you're spirited, but still. You run around too much, and you fall off the ship. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, my, oh, my. You shouldn't be playing around here. Boy, where's your mama? Hey, hey, just a second, ma'am. I'm, I am an adventurer. Don't treat me as a child. I see. You're playing adventurer, but just don't go out of sight of your mama. I don't think she understood. Let's go into the engine room. What's the worst that could happen back here, right? Hmm, we got buttons, levers, meters. What does this one do? I'll just push it and see. Ouch! Ouch, ouch, ouch! Yikes, that was hot! Oh, I just wanted to try it. Hooray! I'm so lucky to be able to work in the engine room. Really? There's so much machinery around here. I'm sure to, I'm sure to whack my head. Oh, that's what I like. If you love machinery as much as me, the cramped space and stench of oil are heavenly. Ew. All right, you must be a passenger. Come down here and you'll never get the stench of oil out. I'm not the kind of passenger that would worry about that. Yow, incredible. They don't have machines this big in Parm. What is that going into down there? Hey, boy, ain't it hot in here? We're always burning coal, you see. Wow, it really is hot. Sir, I guess you work here all the time. All right, nothing else here. Let's head down to the uh, second-class cabins. Or, you know, cargo room where we just get dumped. Knock that over. Oh, are you lost? The ship is so big it's hard to get used to it. The cabins are down the stairs. The deck and lounge are around the corner. Boy, where's your mommy's room? If you don't know, I'll take you there. I'm not a boy. I'm traveling alone. Oh, is that right? Sorry, sorry. Traveling alone at your age? Terrific. The ship rides pretty well, right? Do you like it? Of 
course I do. I've never been on a ship this big. I'm just dying to look around. There's nothing there. Do not bring pigs onto the ship, the captain. I can understand pets, but why pigs? Maybe someone might have brought one on before. I I don't get it either, Justin. Don't look at me. Oh, that was that was a nice leave. Parm is a nice town. Sir, are you going back home to New Parm? Yes, my work in the Garlisle forces is waiting for me back in New Parm. Parm was a nice town, but I felt so restless without a weapon in hand. I want to get back to the squad and do some tough combat drills. I wouldn't even mind some real combat. This guy sounds dangerous. 126, 127, 128. Just how many rats are there? I'm so bored on this ship, nothing to do but count the rats in the room. Really? There are lots of interesting things around the ship. 247, 248, just how many rats? Sir, you must be really bored. Also, how do you know you're not double counting? I'm a man charmed by the New World. I've been to the New World ten times. I know what you mean. I've been wanting to go to the New World for so long. So what do you like about the New World, sir? It's gotta be the people there. Maybe due to the heat, they are so easygoing and enjoy festivals. Also, they are open and friendly even to strangers. Anyway, the people of New Palm are all good ones. I wonder if the adventures of New Palm are easygoing too. If so, I can make friends. I finally made it this far. Knowing my boyfriend, I'm sure he'll give me a big hug when he sees me. Miss, you look pretty happy. Did something nice happen? He isn't back from the New World, so I'm going to the New World. A girl in love has no fear. I waited, but he didn't come back, so I decided to go to the New World. Wonder what he'll say when we meet. Uh, he'll probably say, Oh! Hi, old girlfriend. Meet new girlfriend. I'm the ship's doctor. I take care of everyone on the ship. But the captain is so stingy, he won't hire a nurse. He thinks women shouldn't work on ships. I've heard that before. Isn't that one of the rules of the sea? Rules, fooey. If we had a nurse, I might just be able to save more lives. Well, why don't you get a male nurse? The captain is really stubborn. But why does the nurse have to be beautiful? Hmm. Because that's what I like. Oh. Misogynist. If I had a beautiful nurse, it'd help my morale. But the captain hates women. Hey, boy, you believe in the end of the world? Now that you say so, I've heard of it. Hehe, <laughs> it does sound interesting. The end of the world lies deep in the new continent. Don't know if it's a cliff or a mountain, but it's said that to be virtually the end of the world. Wow, the new world is incredible. There are even such great places. I can't wait to get there. I will never forgive that man. I'll seek him out and make him pay for what he did. I, I I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Hey there, boy. How are you? You've got to relax on a boat trip, or you'll get seasick quick. Look at just how relaxed I am. Yoo-hoo! Look at me on a ship! Don't worry. I'm having more fun than I can stand. I've got no time to be nervous. <laughs> Son, you're in a good mood. Let's both have a good trip. Yoo-hoo! Look at me on a ship! Yeah, I'm so itchy. You think this cabin is lice or something? Yee, lice? I gotta watch out. Yeah, hopefully not. That's, uh, that'd be pretty bad. Miss, you don't look so good. Are you okay? Maybe you're seasick. Ship's doctor. Oh, my chest aches and my head is spinning. Could this be love? The ache in my chest. Ah, uh, so this is love. Something is coming. Hey, hey, miss. I said you're seasick. That's kind of frightening. Are you going to the New World? I'm going. I'm coming home. I miss the town of New Parm. Sir, you're from New Parm? Well, tell me, what kind of place is New Parm? Oh, certainly. The sun shines all the time on cheerful adventurers. At the dinner theater, adventurers eat dinner while watching beautiful dancing girls and telling stories. Ooh, beautiful dancing girls. I like that. Tra la 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 la. Say, what you doing? Oh, I'm practicing my singing. I want to become a singer in New Parm. Oh, I can't wait to get to New Parm. I know, I'll turn the beating of my heart into a song for you. Ah, thumpity thump goes my heart. The new land of New Parm awaits me with its charm. Miss, you don't have to sing for me. As a singer, I must practice my singing any time and anywhere. Tra-la-la-la-la. -la -la -la. Sailors are sure, 
Sure, cool. I'd like to sail the seven seas, hunting for treasure and fighting pirates. Mm, being a sailor isn't bad. But if you think about it, an adventurer can do that too. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. I'm going to be an ocean adventurer. The sea isn't enough for me. I'm going to go on adventures throughout the world. Good luck to both of us. Pretty sure a sea adventurer is just a sailor. Uh, do I need to put anything in my stashing place? Uh, I will be okay for now. I'm a traveling salesman. I do business wherever I am. If you want to buy something, go touch one of the items. To sell something, talk to me. Alright, well, I don't need to sell anything. What weapons do you have for sale? Ceramic sword, par knife, hand axe, hand dart, and metal bat. A paring knife. Good for cutting fruit. Hmm, we don't have anyone who can use knives right now. Curious. Very curious. Like gloves, sportswear, and air sneakers. And... First aid, herbs, and wound salve. Okay. Nothing really that I need. Alright, let's go uh, hunting for uh, Sue. Now that I've basically spent the last 45 minutes talking to people everywhere. Jesus, there's like more talking in this game than uh, most games that I'm used to. As I've said when people complain, uh, I, I tend to, uh, I mean, like, I mean, A, I like seeing what people say. Um, although I do wish that it was easier to get out of uh, conversations that you didn't want to be in. Um, and B, they went to a lot of work to put all the conversations in. I like showing that off. Hey guys, how many times do you ask the same question? What? I'm with Justin. So it is Sue. What are you doing? Why is she in a barrel? Mm, I don't really like th throwing people overboard in a barrel. So then stop them! But if someone breaks the rules of the sea, we have no choice. The rules of the sea are stupid! Take a good look at the demise of one who disobeys the sea spirits. I don't want to look! The stowaway is, a kind of, is the kind of rule breaker the sea spirits hate most. Ah, we're really busted. That sue is so reckless. Hey, boy, there's a stowaway. Might see him thrown overboard in a barrel. Hey, come on, don't say that. I don't want to see it myself, but throwing stowaways overboard in a barrel is the rule of the sea. Who makes these rules? Ah, that poor little girl. I feel sorry for her. Then don't throw her overboard in a barrel. When I was watching the weather, I found a, a stowaway this small. Say, how did you know that Sue was a stowaway? When I asked her who her guardian was, she jumped up and ran away. They say that stowaways make the sea spirits angry and bring storms. I have to watch the skies clo closely. Hmm, is that the legend? But the spirits will forgive Sue. She's a smart aleck, but a good kid. That girl is quite a problem. I can't even get ahead in repairing my beloved Crane Elizabeth. Crane can wait, but not Sue. Please save her, sir. You're right. Women do need a lot of care. My Elizabeth, too. Don't compare Sue to a Crane, for gosh sakes. Hmm, but if you have a problem with a crane, I'll help you out as much as I can. You're terrible. Now, silly, if you're gonna get- if you're gonna stow away, do it so you don't get caught. You don't seem to care at all! Don't be a fool, I don't want to see a girl die either. Uh, is there no way to save her? I want to say Sue- save Sue too. Let's put our heads together. Oh no, we've never had such a little stowaway before, but we must uphold the rules of the sea. Oh, Justin! Sue, why do you have to come? Parm's no fun without you around, Justin. I want to go on adventures with you, Justin. And you just can't do anything without me. Right, Justin? Well, I, I got on here okay without you. Just live with it, Justin. The ship's already sailed. We can't go back to Parm. We're off on an adventure. You understand that you're in a barrel and they want to throw you overboard, right, Sue? 
You may say so, but you, I've got a bad feeling about this. Are you Justin? You've really given us troubles. Such a wee little girl. The punishment for stowaways is being thrown overboard in a barrel. This is the divine rule of the sea. Please forgive her. Sue's just a kid. I'll make sure she never does something like this ever again. No! Breaking the rules of the sea brings the curse of the spirits. Come, pick up the barrel. Toss it into the sea. Yikes, wait a second. Throwing such a small kid into the sea in a barrel is just too cruel. Please, please spare her. Well, there is one way. The girl told me you, are, you want to be an adventurer, yes? Yes, that's right. I'm going to be the greatest adventurer in the world. Me too, me too. Hmm, adventurers are something of... Something of a kindred spirit. Something a kindred. Uh, I'm going to go with a different... Adventurers are something of a kindred spirit to us sailors. The spirits may not curse us. All right, you become sailors on this ship. Huh? If you were passengers, you'd be stowaways. But if you're sailors, then you can't be stowaways. How about it? Will you work on this ship until we reach the new world? If so, I'll spare the wee one. Really? Why should I trust you? I accept. We'll become sailors. <sighs> really? Now why should I trust you? Oh, well, if you can't trust me, come on, toss the wee one into the sea. Yikes! Wait, wait, wait! I'll take no more impudent talk. I'm going to ask you one more time. Will you become a sailor? Let's save that state. But I still can't trust you. <laughs> nope, it's a but thou must situation. Okay. Okay, okay, we'll become sailors. Well, that settles it. From now on, you two are apprentice sailors. Understand? I understand. I... I'll be a sailor as long as I'm with Justin. Good. Take them to the sailors' quarters. Aye, aye, Captain. You two get plenty of rest. Starting tomorrow, you'll work hard. <sighs> Sue, what am I going to do with you? Tan Justin! Good morning, Justin. How'd you sleep? <sighs> I didn't sleep very well. That teeth grinding and snoring kept me up. I'm still sleepy, too. The bed was stinky and damp. It made me sick, and... Cut it out, newbies. Can't sleep all day. Get up and get working. Well, let's go. Well, I guess this is a good time to, uh... Pass that, uh, defense seed. Over to Justin. Oh, I actually did use it. Well, that's what I wanted anyway. That's fine. Listen close, newbies. Up until now, you were passengers. From now on, you're apprentice sailors. Don't forget that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! You two are in charge of swabbing the deck. You'll get your instructions on deck. Now, I'll give this to you. Key to the quarters received. Remember to provide service if, the passenger, if a passenger asks you to do so. Understood? Good. Now, go on deck. So you are the stowaways. Just don't get in the way. We won't get in anyone's, anyone's way. Poo poo! <laughs> newbies are always getting in the way. It was the same with me. Hey there, newbies. Aren't you the stowaways? Don't you know that anger is the sea spirits? Don't worry. Even the spirits can't get angry at a beautiful lady like me. But I'm not a stowaway. Now I've become an apprentice sailor. You newbies wouldn't know it. But remember that angering the sea spirits will give you no end of trouble. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like anything bad is going to happen to us on this trip. All right, well, before I do anything else, I would like to I would really really like to save. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to sell some stuff. That was not what I intended to sell. Shoot. Well, uh, let's go ahead and... What do I need to sell? 
I think I sold the healing item that uh, heals uh, the party of 60 hit points. Eh, I guess it's okay. I probably won't need it. What are you using? You're using the miner's hammer. Okay, so I don't need the uh, the baton. You're using the ceramic sword. Okay. Um, I will sell the toy bow. I'll sell the wobbly sword. Not gonna sell the hand axe. I'll sell the grenade. Uh, leather gloves, baton. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, hand dart. Yeah, it's fine. All right. And in the stashing place, let's go ahead and deposit some stuff. I'll leave uh, Lily's letter. I'll leave the uh, steamer pass. And that's fine. I would really, really like to save, uh, uh, my game. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, could you be them? The new apprentice sailors? Yep, it seems to be that way. I see. So as sailors, you, you have to know the rules of the sea. So do you know them? Maybe don't be a stowaway, or you gotta learn to swim? Uh, I don't really know. Well, I'm guessing that don't be a stowaway is... the first one. Well, you have to know some of them. He is scolded all the time. There's more than one rule of the sea. Do you know the other rules? Don't spill blood in a fight, or you gotta have chest hair? Um, I don't really know. Well, this one sounds the most reasonable. Hmm, you are learning well. Of course, adventurers and sailors are just like brothers. Hmm, that's still not enough. Try one more. How about don't dirty the sea, or maybe don't take a bath? Hmm, I guess I don't know. I'll go with the first one. Ho ho ho, you do understand. As long as you follow the rules, you won't feel the wrath of the sea spirits. So we are great sailors. Don't get carried away, not yet. But I'll give you this. Remember to obey the rules. Beef jerky received. All right, well, that's something at least. Um... Now, there's someone to talk to here. Jeez, am I going to have to do another episode just until I get a, to a save spot so I can end the session? Oh my, since when did you become a sailor? You run out of money? Nah, Sue got found out as a stowaway. We were really in trouble. Yipes! S -s stowaway? Yipes, sir, might you be a stowaway? Uh, oh no, I've been found out... P Please, don't tell anyone, okay? Please? Please keep this a secret. Uh, they'll make me walk the plank and splash into shark-infested waters. Don't worry. We're not so bar they're not so barbaric as to, do as to make you shark food. Now they, m now they throw you over in a barrel. No, no, please, not the barrel. Please don't tell anyone. If they know I'm a stowaway, they'll give me the barrel on, a d on deck. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. Um... Pardon me. I don't think I can... I don't know if I can actually tell on him. I guess I technically don't need the, uh... Cabin key, either. So let's leave that. Alright. Oh, I knocked over the uh, the broom and it didn't, and I left before it made a sound. Hey, I can actually go into the cabins now. Hello, 
My dear husband is just overwrought. Ever since we lost our dear son, he's been so just so depressed. Our trip to New Parm is now is one way to calm his soul. Sorry to trouble you. Oh my, my oh my, dear, dear. Dear, dear, look, our lost son. What business does some lowly porter have with the likes of me? Don't be blabbering about. P Pillarino? You are still alive after all. Huh? You mean me? Not you. Or the one over there who says Puff Puff. He looks exactly like my late son. P Puffy does? Poo poo poo? The ears, cute round eyes, profile, all exactly like my son, Pillarino. Poo poo poo! Oh, I think he's happy to look like my son. He's just so cute. <laughs> hmm. A son who looks like Puffy? Just what could. Yeah, that's, uh, that's weird. Now, something I can do over here. I'm gonna do that before I call it an episode, I think. You, the porter, the bathtub in this cabin is filthy. Be so good as to clean it. Yes, ma'am, right away. Oh, I'm so glad. I just die if my room isn't spotless. I do like things tidy, but dying is a bit much. Yeek! What kind of ship are they running with such a filthy bath? Quickly now, clean the bath. Okay, okay, the bathtub, right? I'll clean it right now. Guess I gotta clean it. Huh? What does she mean, filthy? Looks clean to me. That's odd. Could she mean that tiny smudge? Huh, just this tiny smudge? Oh well, guess I gotta clean it. Okay, that does it. Thank you for cleaning the bathtub. I feel so much better. Good job. Here's only 25G, but please take it. Now that you've finished cleaning, please leave the cabin, Porter. This is a really nice cabin. This should be a relaxing trip. Wow, it really is incredible. wonder how much it costs to stay here. Hmm, for what it costs to stay here, ten people could stay in second class. Oh, exquisite furniture and food matching the first class ho any first class hotel. How suitable for a rich man like me. The service must be first rate, too. Okay. Well, that's about it. When we come back, we'll see what other things we can do uh, as a porter. As a junior sailor. As whatever else they're going to call us. See you next time, everyone. Hopefully next time we'll be able to find the safe, the safe place. Safe spot.